Well, who are you? We're a little lost. Lost, huh? Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? I'm not an asshole. Oh, are you calling me an asshole? <laughs> you folks headed north like everyone else? You live here? Yep. You're in my backyard. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Nick, no! Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? We thought you were in trouble. You were waving your arms. Why did you shoot? He pointed a gun at me. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Shut up, Nick. I guess he slept here. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. He's out of control. That's what I'm saying. He keeps on like that, he's gonna get one of us killed. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to work. Will you vouch for these people, Clam? I can't speak for everyone. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Wanna help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, he never slows down. It's a long story. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without me. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What, not hungry? No, it looks good. You don't have to lie to me, Clementine. Huh, striking resemblance. Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? Something's wrong. They have the same kind of food that we found in the station. What? That doesn't mean anything. It could have been stolen. What if it wasn't? You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind. They can't help it. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. You okay, man? Yeah. Just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just 
try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Here you go, Clem. I suspect they'll find common ground soon. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Everything will not be fine. <sighs> Do you really think everyone can just get along? They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And... Everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids, what are you two talking about? Miss? Please, do you have any food? Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? It's too dangerous. We can't let her in. I'll bring something out to you then. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. Clementine. Don't freak out. Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. I know he was. For sure. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? You should tell him. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. I'll live with it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Gave it to Matthew and all of this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it on his face. It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, am. Um, I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? Just one of those, uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves. What's going on? You need to get out of here. What did you do? Did you hurt him? Did you hurt Matthew? I didn't do anything. Alright? This world is hell. People like Matthew aren't coming back. This is it, and now he's gone! Walter, put the knife down.
Son of a bitch would have shot Walt no matter what we did. Well, I ain't going out like that. Not without a fight. <laughs> 